uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, if you're lucky enough indeed to be a doing it too. Today we're going to be talking about the upcoming clan rewards tank, the Bat Chatillon 25T Avenir. I have no idea if that's how it's pronounced. I'm Australian and I don't read any books. That's a lie, but I still don't know how it's pronounced. Um, it's a collector tank. So it's a blue one, which means it's gonna be a rare tank. And a lot of people will want it just for the rarity and the collectability. However, if you're like me, you love light tanks and you wanna know, Bushka, how does this thing drive? How can I squeeze every ounce of talent and juice out of the uh, Batchat 25T Avenir, and should I be bothering to spend my hard-earned coin on this thing during the event? The event will be kicking off on the 6th of May, by the way. It is a clan event. You can get missions and rewards for planning, uh, platooning with your clan buddies and such and such and such and such and such. Well, the thing is, for me, I mean, disappointed is a strong word. I wouldn't say disappointed. It's just this... This Avenir, it doesn't, it doesn't play the way I want it to play as a Bat Chat. Now it's so similar to the Bat Chat 25T Tech Tree. Uh, although in terms of looks, it looks like the tier 10 Bat Chat. The turret placement is ever so slightly different and it's got a slightly better armor profile. It gets those wild bounces off the front sometimes that you absolutely don't deserve. But it's gun handles like a heavy tank gun or a 120 millimeter Chinese medium. It doesn't feel reliable as an on the move killer. And really, when you're running a bat chat, a light tank that's meant to be super mobile and sneaky and you're getting all up in the face. I mean, watch this. Look at the size of this reticle as I'm flying along. Like, look at the bloom on it. Oh my God, and I fire too early on this Object 84. I went all this way to get this position. And I'm just like, oh my God, am I ever gonna get this shot off? And yeah, I wanted to get two before we got back into cover. And I ended up getting one and taking one back. And it's like, mm, that's because of the on the move dispersion. It's massive. It's on the move dispersion, both with the turret moving and the tracks moving is massive. The other massive thing is its HE Alpha, as you'll see here. 480 just for a standard roll. It's 440 base. Uh, and that's why the gun, I think, has been so hardcore balanced. When you get the backsides of tanks, you can roll 500. You can 550 max, I think it is. And that's, that's a lot of damage to be putting out. If you set up for the shots, I mean, that's another 482 and then I just want to make sure of it with the APs and we finish him off. But that 105 millimeter, that's a lot to pay for. And you've got to really move the tank around pretty snappily to take advantage of it. Here we are, we've looked at the light tank being an RU and we're ready for action. One pussycat, two pussycat, 520, big rolls, 949 damage. Go back to the drawing board. But, you're not going to use it that often because your AP penetration ain't special. It's 53 millimeters and you're running AP and APCR. So it doesn't really make a lot of sense to run calibrated shells. And even if you did, you're only getting another five millimeters of penetration. There's that dispersion again. And that's just not enough. So it's a very situational win. Uh, the big boomstick. And that's frustrating because the gun handling doesn't feel good enough to justify running this tank over the Tech Tree Bat Chat. It's slightly slower both in forward and reverse. I think it's 62 and 18 versus 65 and 20. It's much worse in terms of turret. I mean, this gun. It's much worse in terms of turret and uh, track dispersion. Oh, God. Where'd that go? Please, tell me where that went. That just, like it dive bombed the dirt. It didn't want a bar of that E100. Um, and you've got 
Like, it, it just doesn't play the way you'd want to play a light tank. And there are light tanks out there that play with a big alpha. Like, you want to play with a big alpha, go play the T92E1 at this tier. Or play the Vickers. And, oh, I mean, that did get nerfed too. Um, but, I mean, even with the Vickers, you've got a 380 alpha HE round as your cheap HE round. And that's like 105 millimeters of penetration. You'd much rather have that than have this. Now, your intra clip, your intra clip reload is slightly better than the tech tree batch at. And your DPM is slightly better than the tech tree batch at. But your dispersion is worse. Your uh, on the move dispersion is worse. And it's just, this felt like a miracle, this shot. It felt like get down on the ground and just sing hallelujah because that was important that I hit that shot to have any chance of winning the game. And it felt like so uncomfortable taking it as he went around that corner. It really did feel uncomfortable. And shots like this, which you would quite often take and then you'd hit a second, you're just not hitting that second. If you're moving, you've got to be perfectly stationary. And I don't know if you noticed, if you're in a lightly armored tank, you are perfectly stationary. It's difficult to not get blown up, not to just evaporate uh, up into the atmosphere. So is it worth getting? Well, I don't really know if it's going to be worth it to you. I'm not certain how difficult it's going to be to do things. I love how this misses and hits the top of the uh, BZ there and actually penetrates an incredibly difficult to pan area of a tank that I wasn't aiming at. And I was just like throwing throwing my hands up in the air going, sure, why not? That'll make it. Uh, it's certainly good enough to be successful, but a 105 millimeter with 53 millimeters of HE pen isn't that exciting to me. And I'd rather just run the tech tree batch at and have a much more reliable damage output. These are the these are the the margins where wargaming balances stuff. And it's given it little advantages like the intra clip reload, the slight DPM advantage, the better power to weight ratio, but it's really missing the play style that you need to be hitting. You can still make light tank plays like this where you are going forward, but you can't just squeeze the trigger automatically. It won't work. Like you you really don't have that kind of aim time. You don't have that kind of dispersion. It feels like a heavy medium dispersion, like a WZ120. And you don't have a lot of gun depression. So that's a difficult thing to live with. I mean, this play is doable, and then you do your normal thing of just hiding, and then you go out, and even this play here is very light tank. You've got good mobility, good camo. You can get here, get snuggled up in the bush, set yourself up so you can't be seen from the left, and and then fire and not get spotted because you got great light tank camo. But really, I'd rather drive the tech tree bad chat. A lot of collectors will grab this tank regardless of what I say. And that's fair enough because that's, for some people, that's their jam, right? But you're going to be in a lot of T10 games. A lot of T10 games. Everyone knows how many T10 games you're going to cop it. Um, and there's Erling Haaland, by the, by the way, from Risk. When I realized who was there, I was like, oh, happy days. I'll start moving here uh, quite comfortably. I'll start supporting this flank we've got a uh got a bloke who plays oh god that dispersion please end it it's so disappointing to be in a position to put shots into a bat chat and it also makes you really really wary of using the high explosive because it's i mean it's a big ask is that high explosive gonna hit because if it doesn't hit it's a wasted round and you don't have enough penetration to just wail it up against the side of the tank, you've got to have a fairly good idea. I mean, anything on the move is just dangerous. Absolutely dangerous. I was sure it was going to miss there. I was absolutely packing. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, I hope it was a little bit helpful for you, for those of you who are 
thinking of grinding the uh, Avenir in the clan uh, missions. And I, hats off if you do, it'll still fulfill a lot of your light tank hopes and dreams, but I love the speed of the lights. I love the drive-by and, you know, for me, that's like a T100 LT, a bat chat, uh, like, that's where I want to be. Uh, until next time, please like, subscribe, etc., whatever, whatever. And look after yourself. Stay safe on the battlefield. Bye.